Hey Pisces, how you doing? Welcome to Soulvine. This is Jamie. We're just clearing your space with the Palo Santo. So feel welcome just to take a deep breath in. Let your shoulders go. Breathe out and relax. How are you feeling with this new moon energy? Times are actually feeling good, friends. Um, with a lot going on, which I'll be sharing through the energy update if you haven't received it already with this new moon energy. But you can anticipate that the first 10 days might be feeling pretty good, uh, might feel expansive, especially because we have Jupiter in the mix with the new moon, even with Mercury. Uh, and all the good things coming in and happening. So you might get a bit of a boost uh, to keep moving forward. Just remember being mindful with Mercury retrograde in the mix that you might just have to make some little adjustments as you move forward when it comes to communication or just things doing their thing. <laughs> all right, so let's connect in Pisces and see what is going down for you and how we can support you right now with the energies and get you the answers that you seek. If you haven't already liked or subscribed to the channel, if you feel connected, please do so. It's awesome to stay connected and share the love between us. All right, guys. Oh, what have we got here? So current energies for Pisces, sun, moon, rising. Just remember, this is a timeless and general read. So whenever you come across it, it is hopefully meant for you to get you the answers that you seek on your spiritual journey. So initial energies we're connecting into Pisces. We have got material and spiritual prosperity. Very nice. We've got crown chakra, the waiting game, rest and rejuvenation. So there seems to be there's something here around some form of movement. I feel that's happening and something that's coming into balance. Okay. Which is nice. Maybe that's a balance within yourself, or maybe you're just starting to see things overall energetically just smooth out. And we like that. With the crown chakra, though, this is a lot around our intuition. Um, again, I'm just feeling this expansive energy, which I really like for you. To me, that means that you're feeling a sense of freedom. I feel like there's a little bit of um, heaviness lifted from the shoulders as you're moving through something. Interestingly, though, as you're in that space and connecting to your intuition, there might be some part of you that's wondering kind of what's next or what's happening next um, with the waiting game energy. This could be, you know, just something a little bit on hold or some form of procrastination that may be occurring. Uh, could be, I don't, I'm not feeling frustrated. I think this is a, probably a cool time to, if this is coming into play with some form of communication or news that this is part, I feel of a decision-making process in terms of what is your intuition saying? There's, like I said, there's some win that's occurring, that's balancing out, that's feeling good, that's giving you some sense of freedom. At the same time as the wait, the waiting game and the rest and rejuvenation, there's just a little pause happening, a little pause, whether this is your you connecting intuition to assess, or maybe you're kind of wondering going, why is this taking so long? Or what do we need to do to get there? Um, and you might be waiting for the right answer. And I feel the answer could be in the pause. That's going to be really important. So this is kind of like the two of swords and the four of swords energy. You know, sometimes spirits just working with us. I mean, they always are right at the end of the day, whether whoever you, you connect into for your higher power, universe, God, um, hope, love. There's just some element here for you Pisces right now that, this is kind of on purpose, this little bit of pause and wait, because I feel like a door is opening in some regard to support whatever is next for you. So let's see more what this is and then we'll get some more clarifiers. So looking at material and spiritual prosperity, you've got trapped in fear. Let's just dive a little bit deeper. Crown chakra deception and envy so you got a lot of mind coming through like a lot of swords energy you've got the sacral chakra and then you've got destiny 
So there's something birthing and opening up for you, but amongst the wait, waiting game, there's something here that I, I feel like you're trying to get answers or creating some thoughts around a situation. Um, Pisces, that just may not be really serving you for, for the greatest or highest purpose here. But again, there's something happening here. You've got two. So something's balancing out. Something is building and growing. Um, the waiting game energy, I've just realized, is not the sword's energy. It's the wand's energy, okay? So this could be some form of standstill, some form of plans just needing to come together. They're, they're, I feel like there might be a partnership coming into play here that you can't see yet. Um, but a part of this for you again there just could be some pause silence happening uh that you're waiting on some form of information but i feel you might be just creating a little bit of thoughts in your mind right now or as you're moving forward what this potentially could be are they really going to show up like a lot of i think self um a little bit of self-defeating uh way of thinking um but again, something's growing something's happening and something's moving forward in a really powerful way that's supportive for you no one wants to wait. I get it. Patience, you know, some of us can be super patient. Some of us may not be so much, but things are working in your favor, friend. So um, this is great news. We're going to dive in a little bit deeper to see what this is all about. Thank you, spirit. So material, um, material and spiritual prosperity. We have got clarifying the world, the ace of pentacles and the justice energy. So connecting into this Again, there's something turning in your favor. There's something cycling in. When something's cycling in, it also means there's something cycling out. But there's a gift showing up here for you that I feel you're going to be really happy about. Really, this could already be here for some of you, but I feel like this uh, for a lot of you is around the corner. That something, an opportunity is just I think someone wants to present something. I don't know, some conversation of some kind that's just going to give you clarity on where you're going. And you're going to feel really good about this Pisces. Crown Chakra, what do we need to know? Okay, we have got again six of pentacles, which so we're seeing things evolve king of cups and page of wands. So, someone's coming in with some form of communication here for, with you, um, or to connect with you to kind of let you know that I feel they're on the same page of wanting to give, they can't give you at all, but they want to let you know that there's some energy, interest, or or desire here to to connect and and work on things it's coming from a place of a king of cups which you know is opening up the doors of of just connection on a deeper level and i think a more mature level but it's coming from a place of not huge confidence but a place of just the willingness which i really really like here for you so i don't know intuitively if you've been waiting for this if there's space that you you've been waiting for for this to show up or for this to come in but whatever this is uh when it comes to your crown chakra i think a big part here is trusting in in your intuition or just kind of again i think it's being open without creating like being open to what's possible and keeping your headspace open with possibility, okay, rather than judgment, I think it's going to be incredibly important here. The waiting game, what do we need to know? One more spirit. One more spirit. What? Okay. <laughs> Gave us four, but we'll take that. So the waiting game, we have got queen of swords, the chariot, the sun, the two of swords. I like it how we get back to the two of swords again. Um, okay. Okay. So again, there's just some clarity here that is coming to you, um, some understanding about something here, Pisces, that's going to help you move forward where things may have been still, okay? So things are going to be pushing through quite quickly if you've been in a pause or a bit of a waiting game of what's next because the movement forward is something that feels really good, totally lit. There's a lot of energy in it. But then you get to a place we see again with this Two of Swords energy. So what where when you get to this place of like potentially being unsure about something potentially questioning something what is that about what fears or what things are creeping in i don't know if this is you trying to take pause to connect into your intu intuition again hang on am i on the right path i just feel like there's too many questions going on and i i need i guess understanding like why are you asking these questions what's coming up for you and i think deciphering that is going to be incredibly important because this to me looks like you've got all the answers you seek. So what keeps coming up here? 
And I wonder if this is part of your procrastination, a little bit of fear of the success, a little bit of fear of what's on the other side here. So that might be something that you need to get honest with yourself because in this energy as well with this new moon energy, they're the kind of things that are going to continue to show up here for you to kind of go keep pushing forward here this is not a time to question yourself you know already that you've got all the goods you're amazing Pisces so keep cycling back into the procrastination is what cycle you kind of need to start pushing out here if you're a person that goes into that state of getting busy with something else getting distracted with something else um, you know taking care of other things when you know that you should be pushing forward with what's presented itself but you keep I don't know, again, this little bit of fear coming in around something. Rest and rejuvenation, what do we need to know? Rest and rejuvenation, what do we need to know for Pisces? Well, thank you. Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, King, Knight of Swords with the rest and rejuvenation. Okay, so you're starting to see things shift quite quickly here so as things start moving forward where they may have been a bit quiet where you may not have seen a whole bunch of energy you're starting to see the energy kick in okay and I feel that's the new moon energy supporting this along uh, with all the other alignments happening which I'll talk more about like I said in the energy update because um, I've sat down and put a lot of time and energy in it and uh, for you guys who are part of the soul tribe if you want to get in on that um, potentially for the next one next session uh, that we put out for the energy update it's the first link below there's no cost to join uh, we've got a couple of hundred um, almost a few hundred people a part of um, the the group so jump on in but what I feel is happening here there's something where you've taken a pause or just taken a bit of time to reboot at the same time we're seeing here with the eight of pentacles and the ten of wands that you're putting a lot of work in to get something to create something to understand something and then you kind of like how I feel like there gets to a point of how much more effort do I need to put in here to get the result but this could also be why you're getting to this place of needing time out maybe there's a little burnout involved um, being mindful of that so just make sure again that you're not overdoing things here Pisces to get a result again sometimes we stay busy to not do what we're actually meant to be doing I know it sounds strange, but it's part of a, a, a safety mechanism that we can get into. And I feel this is kind of repeating itself. And you might find if you're burnout or exhausted, often you're trying to deviate from dealing with a certain something that you might need to finally, you know, meet head on. And again, it can, it's, it can be a really positive energy. But we can see here as well here with this uh, Knight of Swords energy, there, there is something coming on through that kind of wants to say, hey, Hey, I've got something for you over here. Pisces, knock, knock. So I feel like you're going to start start hearing uh, some feedback, some news. Just make sure for yourself here. I just feel there might be people starting to get a little bit concerned because they can see your progress. They can see great things happening and then they can see you kind of withdrawing potentially a little bit or going quiet. And then they see you a lot of effort and energy into it. Then they can see a little bit of things change with you again and then... So you might, be, yeah, and then might be going a little bit quiet again. So I don't know if there's a little pattern that you go through uh, emotionally because of the mental fatigue potentially here, Pisces, but I just can see that people might be rushing in to go like, what, what's going on? What do you need? I can tell something's not okay or you're going through something. So trapped in fear, we've got nine of wands, the tower and the five of swords. So I feel this has already happened. This seems to be past energy here. Uh, and someone is still stuck in this state of thinking around the effort they've put in, conflicts that potentially have happened or caused or situations that can that have kind of just got to a place that seems like Okay, let me take a step back. For some of you, for someone here, you, vice versa, energy, whatever this is, I feel like someone's putting in a lot of effort to try and fix something and it's causing more potentially things to kind of break down versus fixing it because you don't need to necessarily fix everything. And 
it's just there's I feel like it's causing more conflict for whatever this situation is or what the situation was so again something to be mindful of um because there's just a, I can just see a little bit of destructive energy you may not be seeing here, Pisces, or someone that you're dealing with may not be seeing, okay? Um, so I feel, again, that someone is getting a little bit caught up in some form of energy that's just effort, 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 which is great. They're letting you know they're exhausted. You might be letting people know that you're exhausted. But again, I feel there's just this little bit of cycle happening that amongst this exhaustion, it's actually causing more, more issues here. And hence why you might be finding there's a bit of conflict because when we're burnt out, we're on a bit of edge, you know, things like that. Deception Envy, Page of Cups, Four of Cups, Six of Swords, Six of Cups. Okay, so this could be part of the energy or cycle that's happening um, as we go further in. There's connection, love, support. Then there's... I don't have energy. I can't put this in it. Someone can't be bothered anymore. Then it's like, okay, get to a place of like, oh, we can just move on from this. And again, I just feel like there's this pattern cycling in and out because I don't know if someone's taking situation or someone for granted, taking themselves for granted. I don't know what this is actually about, but I feel like it's time to become really honest with a certain cycle or situation that's happening because it's going to be important to clear out. I can see there's a significant connection here of some kind um, that's in the mix, uh, but I feel there's some past reflection that may need to go on here in the next couple of weeks to help support whatever this next something is because we can see the energy just beautiful. Then we can see the burnout. And again, it could be a situation that's taking a bit of a toll, but I feel a part of this situation is just recognizing yourself here, Pisces, uh, and what you need to do to take care of yourself better and support yourself in a much stronger um, light. Okay, so we've got the Sacral Chakra. We've got the Nine of Swords. We have got the Ten of Cups. We've got the Hierophant, and we've got Everything is Fine. So... It's interesting how it, something's jumped here. So I feel there was something here that was birthing, that was working, that was growing, growing quite strongly here. And then, like I said, there was a little bit of destruction that, that occurred. Maybe for some of you, you felt this was your soulmate partner or a soul connection, like you know you were destined for a certain something here, but something happened and broke it down. And like I said, you can see the love interest or the care going in. Then you can see not caring. And then you can see, oh, well, let's 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 piece this out. Let's make this okay. And it's just a very unhealthy energy that's happening. But I don't know if something's gone too far because we can see that there's a lot of love, a lot of contentment here, a commitment here. And then it's like something has gone pretty uh, dead. Um, you know, someone could be just at, at their at the end of their rope, but at the same time, it's so final that the only place to go now is to, this is after the 10 of swords is everything is fine. There's two in this deck of 10 of swords and then everything is fine. So there's something coming back to life here. Okay. Let's get more on this 10 of swords energy and what we need to know. Yeah. Someone wants to, put life back into what was kind of left behind because the king of wands is very good at putting energy into something and rekindling something okay they know what they need to do it's the fire energy so I can just literally see them putting pieces together to create the fire this burning desire again around something um, because they can recognize what's happened here Okay, uh, destiny energy, what do we need to know? King of Pentacles. So there's something could have ended with the, the, the King of Pentacles here. Um, some form of stability in a connection, maybe even a job, um, an ending with a boss of some kind. Uh, but interesting, you've got the Queen of Pentacles as well and Eight of Wands. So whatever seems to have ended, which seems to be a counterpart here, which we can see a potential soul connection, there seems to be some news or some information that's coming 
towards or changing here as part of this destiny energy let's dive in a little bit deeper and see what this is all about i just want to get a little more here all right i'm just going to shuffle a couple more times pisces all right so let's have a look at what the current influence is here and then we'll have a look at the overall energies outcome. What's the current influence with this situation, please, Spirit? Okay, we have got the Knight of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, the Six of Wands. Let's just get one more. It's giving me Two of Cups, the Fool and the Nine of Swords. So when we connect into this, Pisces, what I do feel is happening here, there's some element of, again, a lot of effort being put in um, that's made it a bit exhausted. So maybe someone's trying to fix something here. Amongst trying to fix it, again, putting a lot of effort, putting a lot of energy. I don't know if someone is feeling like, well, I need to make it financially safe, financially secure. Maybe someone's working really hard right now to make things come together. Um, and someone wants some form of recognition here. There's no doubt about this with this six of wands. Someone wants recognition here for their hard work and what they're doing. There's also, again, an influence here of, two people wanting to take a chance on each other. And I think both energies here are in a similar space of this nine of swords is not knowing what to do because something has transpired here where there's been a significant conflict that's brought something down. And like I said, if that was a bit of a cycle or pattern in this connection, something went a little bit too far. But I can see the potential of wanting to make a change here wanting to make a change there's someone wants to communicate this i want to get still a little bit more on the influence here or more on what this thank you yeah so we've got the hangman and the devil energy with the nine of swords so again this is around someone's thoughts obviously nine of swords we know is that mental space of like it's taking a toll emotionally and mentally uh on how someone is feeling about a situation. But what I feel part of this influence of getting there, we can see effort and the potential to take a leap here. There is a connection. People care about each other here, whatever this situation is. But whatever view someone has is unhealthy. And I don't know if it's the way someone is communicating. I don't know if it's just the way someone is thinking, but something isn't too healthy here. Let's just get a little bit more on this devil energy. Yeah, we can see that things are, are going to come to a place into balance and clear out, but it kind of needs to do it in its own time. Interesting, we've got the, the King of Swords. So there's going to be clarity around this. There's going to be understanding around where this is going. It just needs a little bit of time to work through this. So let's um, get the, the final outcome here. What do we need to know for the final outcome regarding the situation for our Pisces and what they need to know? Thank you, Spirit. Okay, we've got a lot going on here. Let's start with these. Okay, we've got the Queen of Pentacles again showing up. We've got the High Priestess, the Lovers, the Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. So intuitively, people know here or there's some understanding here that there is a deep connection. I, I don't think there's anything under like denying this or it's undeniable, okay? I think there's some truth here, but there's also some truth here on where are we going? Which way are we going? Are we leaning in or are we going leaning out? But we can see here with the Ace of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles, something is being presented here for a new new solid beginning. Okay. Then we've got the Eight of Swords, the Three of Swords, the Five of Swords, the Ace of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. So whatever's presenting them coming on in, this Queen of Pentacles energy, I think this Queen of Pentacles, whoever this represents, whether it's you or someone else here, Pisces, or a position of, of like a feeling behind it is wanting to get to a place that you're back in that, in that, uh, in that seat, 
back in that seat, back in that position of where you feel that you're meant to be. But with this new beginning or potential offer blessing that's coming in around a situation, this could be about this connection or something totally different. There's still this part of concern of of where this can go and I think there's been a a huge part here of hurt and sadness around this situation okay we can see here there's been some significant conflict and maybe that's where the heartache is coming from the sadness is coming from the defeat in some way is coming from is a conflict sometimes you just have that final fight or that final something that ends um And I think there's trying to get to some clarity or some truth or some understanding together of how can you have this fresh beginning in the way that you communicate in the way that you connect with each other to finally balance this out again, kind of once and for all. So this could come in many different ways uh, around whether this is a spouse, whether this is a, a, you know, a significant other of some kind, this could also be someone that you deal with in the workplace and, you know, a boss or a partnership where someone's kind of said, I kind of had enough, but you feel destined that you're meant to be in this, whatever in this is, in this relationship, in this business, doing whatever that you're meant to be doing. I see that there is influence here of the way that we think about situations, but I also see things wanting to balance out. I definitely see that here um, for your Pisces. All right, let's get a couple more cards just to see what else we need to know to support this energy. Thank you, spirit. Okay, so we have got step out of your comfort zone luck is on your side and meditate and contemplate. Um, This is wonderful Pisces because this is again, just confirming that sometimes when we're sitting in spaces where we're really caught up in our thoughts, a lot of the time is we're too focused on other things and people and not focused enough on ourselves and making our life um, free. And what I mean by free is, having our faith somewhere that trusting in what is next or where we're meant to be is where we're meant to be. Okay. Or what's, you know, God's will or whatever that talk that you may have in that trusting the process. But a part of trusting the process too is recognizing our contribution and what we can take away from it to grow and expand as ourselves, as a person. Because ultimately when things break down, especially when there's two people involved, we have some form of contribution. And if we think that we don't, that's a bit foolish. So whether we feel right, wrong or whatever else, people have feelings either which way. Sometimes we move away from situations because you can just never get on the same page or that person is never willing to do the work or never ever willing to understand. And sometimes people need to walk away to understand, to understand, right? And then eventually go, yeah, you know, I probably didn't see things this way or whatever. And then you figure it out. But it comes with vulnerability, it comes with self-awareness. It's huge. But I see this is Newman and Sagittarius. This is where we're in right now. So something is playing a part here and going full force or full focus in direction of something. But again, I think it needs to be an introspective goal, not a goal of the things outside of us that we want to attain. This is like an introspective, um, like I just, again, think of a bow and arrow, you know, where you're going, what the target is, but you've got to, it's not just shooting. There's a lot of different things that you need to know to take that shot first before you go shoot. So I think there's just a few things that you may need to uncover, learn, uh, practice to, to be able to kind of flex that within yourself in a really strong way because meditate and contemplate too, I think is just where you might uncover more of that information that you need for your own growth because something will balance out. But if nothing changes, this cycle will keep going. But spirits let you know, we're ending this cycle where we're changing things for the better because if this situation is meant to be where it's meant to be or the things that you want that you want to work on and and make it work or you want to go in a new direction. I mean, we have free will to that, but either which way you've got, it's important to learn from this or this situation and this lesson. So wherever you go to next here, there, over here, that 
you are fully equipped to not repeat the same situation or get into the same cycle again. And it's going to be really, really profound for you, Pisces, through this journey. I'm going to leave that with you, dear ones. As always, appreciate you. Much love and we'll speak soon. Bye.